Oh, boom, there it is. I'm telling you. Fall fishing is on fire. I told you when we left. Fall fishing is on fire. Fish right there. Boom. You say, Sam, why are you going to put a swim bait on? You're catching fish on one game. Well, just because. I can. It's crappy there. They country baits, boy. They won't let you go hungry. You know, another great place in the fall, our fish are looking for a transition place. Our fishing around bridge pilings is also a good place to catch fish. You know, I'm, I'm throwing this uh, double rig jig. This might be a, no, it's a good, it's a good crappy. I'm throwing this uh, double rig jig kind of like, like I would a regular rod. You know, this, these 10 and 11 foot ACC crappy sticks, I fish with them so much I can cast them just like a regular rod. You know, that's a good crappy. He hit that yellow color. Ah, uh, boom. <clears throat> and the rod is so long, this bridge is low. I have to kind of stay back and cast up there, but hey, <clears throat> let's, let's do that again. Actually, I can probably sit back here and just let the lure float down by the pilings. You know, so these crappy are relating to this structure because it's a narrow place in the lake. Great place for them to ambush uh, bait. That trolling motor calms down. Uh-oh, we gave him a California quick release. That was a good fish. He actually got me hung up around that pilot down there. Anyway, hey, let's throw it back in there and see what we come up with. It's a little one. He's a little bit better. He's probably he's probably ten inches. A boom. Caught him on that blue color. I've been playing with some colors a little bit. Caught him on that blue color. This head is a 16. I'm gonna switch and go to a 32nd. I think these fish will like a slower fall. I think this is falling a little bit fast. Oh, boom, did you see that? I just pitched it up at that slower. Man, he come off too. That's the second good fish I don't know. That slower fall, just that slow fall. Sometimes it makes a huge difference. Ah, oh, boom, there he is again, boy. Here's a nice one. I'm gonna just let the boat float. Caught him on that, that blue yellowish tint. Good crappy there. Lake Country Baits, boy, they won't let you go hungry. And I'm not doing a whole lot here. I'm just casting it up there. You see the wind is puffing under here fairly good. It's very stormy. It's supposed to rain any minute. Don't bother me, I got my rain suit. And, you know, I'm just allowing the lure to fall back through the strike zone and waiting on a, you know, waiting on a bump. I think my trolling motor will hold just outside this bridge. That, a bump, there it is, I'm telling you. Fall fishing is on fire. I told you when we left. Fall fishing is on fire. A little bit smaller. Go boom. Yeah, he's about nine and a half inches. They seem to like something with a little bit of blue. Now, this water temperature, I came up one of the creek prongs. The water in the main lake is very, very clear. Makes the bite down there uh, really tough. So I came up the prong. This water's got some good, decent stain to it. And the water temperature is actually cool. It's about 75 degrees up there. Down the lake, it was 78. That's what we have to, a little bit better fish right there. There again, I'm just floating that, uh, 
that's, that, that's man, it just come right, man. Dennis, I should have netted that fish. Come right out of him. Hook fell right out of him. Good fish right there. That's about 11, 11 and a quarter, 11 and three eighths fish right there. Boom. Now I'm getting ready to change a little bit. I'm going to put a swim bait on. And I know you say, Sam, why are you going to put a swim bait on? You're catching fish on the one you got. Well, just because I can. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. I'm going to switch baits. Just a little cuss. I switched over to that brown and chartreuse tail right there. Oh, uh, that brim color. That's been a good color this summer. Just a little small fry. Anyway, that's been a good color down here. Didn't think I was gonna get him in there. I'm back ahead of a 10 foot pole. And that is a chunk, y'all. Good gracious. That's what we're here for. I'm telling you, he hit that slice color right there. That is a good crappie right there. That's 12, 12 and a half inch crappie. Boom. That's what I'm talking about, that fall crappie bite. Woo! Good fish. Another decent crappy there, y'all. They own that slice color on the top of the mouth. Oh, boom. You know, it's very difficult to work this 10-foot rod here under this bridge, but hey, we managing. Seems like if you can get the bait right down in the fish and give them time to look at it. And I did switch over to uh, some smaller baits. They seem to be more reactive to the smaller bait. That's a North Carolina quick release. Come here. He's camera shy. <clears throat> Another good fish right there. A boom. That's what I'm talking about. Now this slice color, I had to put a new one on y'all. I tore that other one up on that other fish. That slice color, that's a BA stinger right there. I got two colors. Uh, the blue moon I just put on. That slice color, remember what I told you earlier in the video? You find a color that the fish really key in on and that slice color, they, they crushing that slice color today. He swallowed it too. Nothing on that slice, y'all. Slice has been a good color today. Hey guys, we're gonna end the video with that. Uh, all in all, it's been a good day. Uh, the slice color was a hot color today. Been overcast. Uh, fall time, look for your structure. Uh, brush piles, these crappy were relatively shallow, 10 to 12 foot deep. There are fish that are shallow. There are fish that are deep. The shad are really begin to concentrate and get in those huge schools. So guys, you better get out here and do some fishing this fall. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button, click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. Please subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all my subscribers. Remember, it's free to subscribe. Remember, it's a wildlife.
and I'll see you on the water.